Hey everyone, it's Heather. This is my husband, Philip. Hi. I'm sure you've heard me talk about him in my videos. And today is day one of the ultimate reset. Very excited about doing this reset. Um, today was challenging, but I'm glad it's almost over at 6.15 p.m. here. Um, so the reason why I'm doing the reset is because I'm wanting to change my eating habits. I make very, very bad food choices. Um, I can't blame it on my kids because I'm the one that grocery shops and my husband's the one that grocery shops, so we're the one that buys the junk. But I stay home and I snack on the animal crackers and the graham crackers, but I, I want to be done with that. I want to make better food choices. So that's my main reason for starting this. Why are you doing the reset? My main reason for starting it is um, basically try to get my blood pressure back under control. It's been running around 145, so hopefully with the uh, cleanse, I can get it back under control without medication. I also suffer a little bit from anxiety, so I'm hoping that I can get the anxiety under control as well without medication. And uh, overall, just to eat a little healthier than uh, we've been eating. Yeah, so, and I'll, I think the reset can do so much for your body besides detoxing it and getting rid of all the toxins. Um, you know, it, it takes 21 days to to create a habit, and that's how long this is. So, I'm anxious to see what what that does. Don't mind the, the screaming children. Okay, so on to today. Um, breakfast was delicious. It was my first time eating kale. I accidentally messed up his breakfast and sent him <laughs> fruit instead of the kale, but that's okay. Um, lunch, we had the microgreen salad, and dinner, we had um, some salmon, asparagus, and some red potatoes. Very, very good, very delicious, but um, I'll tell you, my struggles for me um, is really going to be my hunger. I eat all day, and especially from 3 p.m. till bed. I'm constantly snacking. I took my kids for a walk to the park, and I came back, and I just I hit the wall. I was like, okay, I'm, I'm ready for some fuel. I'm tired. I wanted to take a nap, and, you know, cooking food and having, you know, the smells of it. I was like, oh, I'm drooling, and... So, um, but I'm really proud of myself, you know, I, I've stuck it out this far, this long. I know it's only day one, but that's a lot for me. Uh, you would not believe, if you if you guys know me personally, you know that I just, I eat all the time. I'm always putting some type of food in my mouth, so that I'm proud of myself. Um, and another challenge that I think is going to be pretty difficult for me is the no exercise for 21 days or nothing strenuous. Today wasn't so bad because... I, you know, I worked out yesterday and I've worked out a few days previously, so it was kind of like a rest day. So I think after about three or four days of not being able to, it will hit me a little harder. So what were your challenges today? Um, I didn't have too many challenges as far as like the being tired or anything of that nature. But one thing I will say is, is that uh, it has been challenging with uh, the food just because I'm used to eating a lot more than I have been eating today. And the other challenge is, is when someone sends an email to me about cupcakes in the office <laughs> and I'm the first one on the list and it's like, um, yeah, no cupcakes for me. So that was kind of a challenge in itself. Uh, as far as being tired, I haven't really been too tired, but really I haven't really done much other than stand up and sit all day. I haven't <laughs> been very active compared to normal. So I think that kind of helped keep it under control. Uh, I think that's another reason why they highly recommend that you don't exercise because uh, you're not getting the calories that you normally would. And I can say that it's definitely a big difference not exercising uh, just for the fact that I don't feel as hungry as I probably would be if I did do some exercises. Yeah, so I know there's some people out there that, you know, are fitness instructors or they have to do a little bit of a workout, you know, use it at your own discretion. Um, but definitely tone it down because you're limiting your calories that you're taking in and your energy level will, you know, fall. Um, they say you're more likely to hit a wall day three through five or something like that. I've, I mean, I haven't hit one bad. Now that I ate dinner, I feel a little bit more refreshed. But it's going to be now till bed that it kind of hits me even a little bit more. So we'll see how that goes. Um, so if you're doing the ultimate reset, I want to hear from you. Tell me how it's going. What day are you on? What is it doing for you? You know, do you have some tips for me and my husband? You know, we'd like to hear from you. We have a great group um, that we're doing the reset with. It's it's really nice to be able to relate to other people and see. You know, I know there's some people who um, are addicted to caffeine and there's no caffeine allowed in this. So 
Um, my husband had said, you know, definitely try to wean yourself a week or two prior so you're not crashing super hard. You know, whether you're drinking that pop or the, the coffee or whatever, just start doing it slowly. So um, if you want to get the reset, click the links below, get it. Uh, find me facebook.com slash heather.foltz. Let me know you want to take this journey. I'm starting up um, my own personal group for people who want to do the reset. If you want more information on the reset, check out my website, www.heatherfoltz.com and click on the ultimate reset tab. It'll explain all the supplements that are in there and everything. And speaking of the supplements, the al alkalinize, is that how you say it? Alkalinize. Alkalinize or whatever. I didn't think it was that bad. I mean, it's not great, but people are it's like, like spinach water. Yeah, they're just like, this is awful. I didn't think it was all that bad. I mean, it's not something I want to drink religiously or anything, but I didn't have any problems. I didn't think it smelled that bad or anything. So suck it up. Um, it's 21 days. Yeah. Out so, of 365, you got the whole entire rest of the year to... <laughs> right. So all I have to say is if I can do this, anybody can, because I have a love relationship with food. I mean, I... I, have, I mean, I'm going to be obsessing about it for 21 days, So, um, but I would love to have more people doing this. Sorry, don't mind our children, but um, yeah, so I want to hear from you. If you want to do this, please connect with me. Again, click the links below. Check out my website, heatherfoltz.com, to follow my journey. I hope you can hear me because my kids are really loud, so have a great night. Um, we'll see you in a couple days. Bye. Bye.